Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's it's uh, almost May already, so um, that's cool. And it means that it's pretty much the start of the good riding weather around here. Maybe a couple days with rain and a little bit of snow, but pretty much it's going to be dry and nice and warm for the next while. So um, I have ha uh, accumulated a few new things that I haven't updated you guys on so I'm gonna take the chance to update you guys on that and then I'm gonna go for a ride and give you some of my thoughts about uh, this stuff. Some of it I've been running for a while um, and some of it I just got so um, yeah let's get going. So the first thing is the Dekine Hot Laps uh, hip pack. It comes with a two liter reservoir which is quite a bit so um, I'm gonna be running this when I go for rides over an hour or if I need to carry something because it has these uh, handy straps on it. Uh, it holds quite a bit of stuff I've got like some tools and uh, a couple band-aids and stuff in there that you might need uh, another thing is the Giro Chronicle Enduro helmet I've had this since uh, about January uh, it's super comfortable. It's much better than the uh, fixture. Uh, it's got a lot more adjustment in the back and uh, it's just generally more comfortable and ventilates a lot better as well. Uh, the next thing are these Giro uh, Enduro World Series shoes. Um, they have like some designs on the inside that have the Enduro World Series logo on them. Uh, they're clip shoes. Uh, I've been running clips for a while now. They're super solid. They're very stiff. They are a little bit heavy. They're a little heavier than the last year of shoes that I had, but they're super comfortable. I like how they have the laces, so they look pretty cool. And this little strap that goes across here for extra security. So, um, yeah, that's all of the accessories that I'm running. I'm running a couple new things on my bike, so let's get into those. Okay, so a couple new things on my bike. We're running ESI silicone grips. Uh, they're pretty comfortable. Uh, I don't really have anything bad to say about them. I think they're pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, th so those are good. And uh, just today, I put on the new Maxxis Asagai tires. Uh, 27.5 by 2.5. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that's new with my bike. Uh, I you, I would switch back to stand sealant. Uh, I think it works a lot better than orange, which I ran in the last tires. The orange sealant seems to dry up really quickly. So real quick, just to show you how much the orange sealant dries out, I cut the top off, and that's like, that's like just rubber. I mean, it, that's usable was usable sealant at one time but it just dries up man it's also a lot more expensive than this by like three whole dollars so i'm not gonna waste my money on that it's ridiculous um and i'm also using finish line dry lubricant for my chain uh it doesn't keep it that much cleaner i haven't noticed but it does uh, lubricate quite well. That's pretty much all that's new on my bike. So uh, let's head out, head out and go for a ride. So um, I'm doing probably 20, 25 right now. And these tires are not making any noise. They don't make any noise. <laughs> Make sure we're clipped in and pedal into this. Get a couple strokes in. Let's go up and hit it again. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that jump's kind of hard to clear most of the time. 
but it's fun. All right, let's go hit another spot. Right, so we're out at this jump here. It's actually really solid for, uh, for the conditions. But yeah, I'm gonna hit this. Dang, they made that thing so bad. It used to be a lot less steep. Holy crap, that thing is awful. Jeez. Yeah, they need to learn how to build a freaking jump. That thing's bad. All right, so this is a bit interesting. You gotta drop your seat, and if you hit it just right, you can get under it. You lean all the way off the bike. Man, I'm riding sketchy today, I don't know why, but it might just be that I'm not used to going out. All right, so let's talk about the uh, hip pack. Uh, it's a solid piece of equipment. Holding my tripod, holds water. Uh, it actually feels less heavy when you got it full of water because it's so low down. It's not straining your shoulders. And uh, it's easy to move around with. And I think it looks pretty cool too. Thanks for going on a ride with me today. Uh, I love all the products that I got. They're all, they all perform pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with all of them. So um, I'll see you in the next video.